and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Benjamin Roberts here, and uh, it's going to be an excellent game here tonight. We are at the Frontier uh, Regional Baseball Field, um, and it, we have the Frontier Red Ox versus the Hampshire Raiders, and we are sponsored by Albert Hearing Services, uh, Gilmore and Farrell, uh, Holiday Pizza, and um, yeah. It's going to be an excellent game here tonight, Ben. It's just me and the dynamic duo <laughs> um, uh, of me and Ben, yeah. So they're going to get the uh, the lineups as well as the s national anthem, maybe just the national anthem. I could be wrong. And we'll be underway shortly. We're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Ben Roberts here at the uh, Frontier Baseball Field. And looks like it will be Liam Pond, the shortstop, leading off for the Raiders. And uh, it's going to be an excellent game, Ben, like we said. I mean, Frontier, they started off 0-1. I heard they lost to Pioneer 10 to nothing, So they definitely are going to want to win their f their home game here tonight. Here comes a pitch. That'll be a ball outside. And Tyler Cusson is on the mound for the Red Hawks. Here comes the pitch. And that one's called the strike, looking. Counts one and one. So now Pond has seen one that he's like. Grounder over to shortstop. Palmer fields it over to first. And out number one as a grounder. Ground out to the shortstop, Roscoe Palmer. And out the next batter, it will be Will Hogan, which I believe he is pitching. So as I call it, Ben, is the mano y mano, pitcher versus pitcher. Here comes a pitch from Cusson. That one's fouled back and into the woods. So, uh, 0 and 1 count. Here comes the pitch from Cusson. That one's deep center field. And nice catch by uh, number one, Nico Fasulo. So a fly out to center field. And they, f the Red Hawks got two outs. So we'll, uh, we'll see what Drew Thompson can do 
Um, for the Raiders here. See if he can have fun with two. Comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Pulled his head on that one, so 0-1. One, one. And here comes Cousin to delivery. That'll be ball outside. That evens it up, one and one. See what Thompson can do here. Comes the pitch. That'll be outside. Two and one count. Win for his. Comes a pitch from Cusson. That one's flying to the left field. Nice catch by number 15, Wyatt Eads. Read it. And that will be a quick, quick top of the first inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first where the Red Ox look to get the bats going. Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Ben Roberts here at the uh, Frontier Baseball Field. Uh, batting for the Hawks, leading off is Nico Fasulo. He's playing center field. Uh, on deck is Jack Con Conlon at uh, third base. Roscoe Palmer is in the third hole. Uh, he's at shortstop. And in the cleanup spot is Tyler Cusson. He is pitching for the Red Hawks. Uh, Grayson Luce is at second base, he's batting number five. And uh, Wyatt Eads, number six, he or the sixth batter, excuse me, is in left field. Batting seventh is Colin West. He's the designated hitter. Uh, batting eighth is Porter Hall. He's the first baseman. Uh, ninth, or uh, ninth, I believe, is Ben Caron. Um, and I believe uh, tenth is Caden James, the second baseman. So. Um. Anyways, <laughs> so good, good lineup there for the Red Hawks. And uh, again, this is our, this are, will be our first game covering for the baseball team. Uh, this, this, uh, on this gorgeous day, I will say. Glad it's sunny, not raining. It looks like we'll get rain later in the week. So. And on the mound is uh, number three, Will Hogan. So we'll see if Nico Fasulo can lead off the Red Ox. Hogan delivers, swing and a miss from Fasulo. Oh, one count. Hogan delivers. Grounder over to shortstop. See if he can make the play. Over to one. Ooh, and he's called safe. Great hustle by Nico Vasulo out running that play. He beat it out the first. So hit the short stop, leads off the Red Hawks, man on first. And batting now is Jack Conlon, the third baseman. 
They'll see that one. Nice pitch from Hogan. And we know Fasuo is fast, so we'll see if he steals. Gets the steal sign one of these pitches. And he, ooh, big lead. Pickoff attempt by Hogan. And Sulo gets dirty there. Here comes a pitch from Colin. Fly over out to right field, and he'll make the catch. That'll be a nice one there by uh, number 27, uh, Drew Thompson. So one out, still man on first. And Roskell Palmer will be the batter. He's a shortstop for the Red Ox. And another pickoff attempt. Ooh. Silla dives, gets a hand in there. It's a couple, at least two pickoff attempts. And Hogan delivers. Fasula's going to take off the second, and he'll get in there nicely. A nice steal by Nico Fasulo. So now man on second for Roskell Palmer. What's interesting about him is last year he played um, against Frontier in the Western Mass uh, Finals, which Frontier ended up winning that one. Swing and a miss from Roscoe. 0 and 2 count, I believe. Sulo's on, looking to get there and set or get the home. And so it's 0 and 1 count. Now it's an 0 and 2. One and two. Ben had it right. <laughs> One and two count for uh, Roscoe Palmer. Off speed pitch will be fouled out and into the wilderness. Gone forever. <laughs> There's many base. Oh no. I lost my paper. All right. So still a one suit count. And Will Hogan checks on uh, Fasu on second, and he'll deliver. That'll be a ball outside. Two and two now is the count. One gone, man on second. Hogan checks on Fasu again. He'll pitch. That'll be high for ball three. Full count now. Roscoe is going to look for a base hit or ball four. Hogan still he takes a look at Fasula, another look, and delivers now. Swing and a miss as Roscoe Palmer strikes out looking, or swinging, excuse me. So two gone, and the batter will be Tyler Cusson. And it's that mano a mano, pitcher versus pitcher. I like the call. And I'll be in there for a strike. 0 and 1 count. See if Cussin can have fun with two out there. And Fasulo takes out the third. And then two steals from Fasulo. So now just 90 feet away from third base. One and one. Here comes a pitch from Hogan. Swing and a miss. So that'll be one and two count. <laughs> and he's, he's, Cussin will be swinging at anything close here. Here comes a pitch. And strike three looking. 
And Hogan gets out of the inning with no damage. And Fasulo made things interesting there. So we will go to the top of the second inning. Leading off for the Raiders is Zach uh, Fakos, the catcher. So we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Ben Roberts here at the uh, Frontier Baseball Field on this gorgeous day. <laughs> and uh, batting in the top of the second inning is uh, Zach Fakos, then Mike, Mikey Thompson, and Jack Boyle. So here comes the pitch from Cussin. That'll be low for ball one. One and oh count. And Cussin will deliver. That one will be fouled out and out of play into the wilderness. Just eats those uh, baseballs like it's nothing. And uh, one and one count now. Comes the pitch from Cussin. That'll be blown away for ball two. Two and one count. Comes the pitch from Cussin. Called strike two. That was a good pitch from Tyler. Two and two now. And Cussin delivers. That will be out of play. Almost hit the high pod. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That would have been really bad. Still two and two. And Cussin delivers. That one off speed in the dirt. So 3-2 full count now for Zach Fakos. He's looking for a base hit or ball four here. Grounder back to Tyler. Nice play. He'll throw it over to first for out number one. So uh, one gone. That will bring up Mikey Thompson, the center fielder for the Hampshire Raiders. This will be his first at bat of the game. And Cussin will deliver here. Grounder over to shortstop. Palmer gets through him. And it's unfortunate. And then base hit for Mikey Thompson. And that will bring up Jack Boyle, the third baseman, and a lefty for the Hampshire Raiders. Comes a pitch from Cussin. That'll be in the dirt and it'll take him off, take off to second. And a nice steal there from <laughs> Mikey Thompson. 
as my tongue got tied. <laughs> so. Still one out. Man on second. And boils the batter. Try to pick off attempt. And that one go to the outfield. So just some bad errors there. And that one will be thrown away. This time he will not take off to home. So that is really unfortunate for the Red Ox is now you have a man in scoring position at third base. He was just at first. All right. Yeah, base hit scores a run. And that'll be in the left field. Eads makes a nice catch. And Jack Boyle will get the RBI. So that'll be a nice lead for the Hampshire Raiders here. Trying to write in my book. Fly out to the left field. Nice catch, though, by Eads. Here comes the pitch, and he didn't fly out. Coming my way. And Port Hall will make that out number one. So, excuse me, he did not, not make the catch, so that'll be out number two. Um, so it was a nice line drive. It was a good attempt uh, by Jack Boyle. Vince Carr will, he was the de designated hit hitter there, just a little behind um, here. And the batter now is Phil Morin. And that'll be fouled off. So, so Vince Carr, he flew out to the first baseman. Uh, all right. So man on first, two outs. Cussin delivers pop up. And and dropped in for a single. As that is some miscommunication by the Red Hawks there. That puts a man on first and second. As that's a bloop single there for Phil Morin. And that'll bring up a Jacob Sicard. That one will be fouled out, out of play into the wilderness. Gone forever. <laughs> and that'll be a line drive over the third baseman. They're going to round, uh, round it off. And... Cut off, but so that'll be an RBI single for Jacob Seacard. As Jack Boyle will score there. As he, he scores a run. And a little timeout on the play. Good RBI single for Jacob Seagard. That will bring up top of the order, Liam Pond. He uh, grounded out to shortstop. His first at bat. That one's launched into center field. And that will drop in. And that will be a nice catch by Wyatt Eads. So fly out too. That was a crazy catch. Fly to left field. And damage is done as two runs scored by the Hampshire Raiders. We will go. Oh.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alber, Ben Roberts, and uh, yeah, the, the dynamic duo. Sponsored by Alber Hearing Service and, and the, well, Gilmore and Farrell, as well as Holiday Pizza. That one's thrown there at uh, first pitch from Will Hogan is at Grayson Loose. The second baseman for the Red Ox. He's leading it off. Here comes a pitch from Hogan. And that one will be shot down the left field. Woo! Almost hit someone over there. She got out of the way, <laughs> luckily. And um, count is one and one for the lefty, Grayson Loose. Hogan delivers. That'll be inside for ball number two. Two and one. Here in the bottom of the second, it is two to nothing. The Raiders lead. And swing and a miss. Now uh, we'll even up the count. Two and two now. And here comes the pitch. Grounder over to second baseman. He'll make the play over to first and for out number one. And the, so one and gone already. Making the play there is number 22, Jacob Seacard. And uh, we'll bring up number 15, Wyatt Eads, the left fielder for the Red Ox. And that'll be in there for strike number one. Own one count. Here comes a pitch from Hogan. That one will be fouled off and into the wilderness. That was far back. Got to choke up that swing now. Own two. And did he go? Yes, he did. So he gets him with the off speed <laughs> as Ben's trying to kill a bug. <laughs> Fly is bugging him. Uh, it's okay, swinging there. And that will bring up Colin West, the designated hitter for the Red Ox. And that will be fouled off <laughs> deep into the the... I don't even know what you call that. It's not the wilderness anymore. It's just the the forest. <laughs> Ground over to third base. Thrown over to first. High toss. And out of play. So he'll get second. So, yeah, <laughs> Colin West will be at second from the ground over to third base. And that will be the, Porter Hall will be the batter. Grounder over to shortstop. He'll field it, throws it over to first. And that will be out number three. So no damage done there. And uh, so we will go to the top of the third inning, uh, where the score is two to nothing. Ha the Hampshire Raiders on top. Uh, we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here at the Baseball Diamond. Frontiers. High for ball one. And the batter will be Will Hogan. Pop up first base and called by the second baseman. He'll make the catch. Good job by Grayson Luce making that catch for out number one. Fly out to the second baseman. And that will be that will bring up Drew Thompson. His last at bat in the first inning. He flew out to the left fielder. And Tyler lost. I'm not sure what happened. I was looking down on my score sheet. And now the umpires. Quickly talking things over. Not sure what happened. And, um, yeah, anyways. So, nothing, nothing count. <laughs> Fresh count. And Drew Thompson's bad. That's in there for strike one. Oh, one count as I move the tent. <laughs> Coming up later in the week, hopefully. Uh, unless rain, we got softball. Grounder over our way. And the fan makes the play. O2 count. And Cussin looks to deliver. Line drive into center field. That will drop in there for a single. As uh, center fielder picks it up, throws it in. So a nice single for Drew Thompson. That'll bring up Zach Fakos. He last grounded out to the pitcher. That's one. This time he'll f pop up. Play made by the. the Second baseman, good job by Grayson Luce. Made two plays this inning now. And that will bring up Mikey Thompson. His last time he had a hit to the shortstop and there was an error. So, see what happens here. Not a big lead. And Palmer makes the play. Uh, nice job by Roscoe Palmer. And that we will go. That will end the top of the third. We'll go to the bottom of the third inning. Leading off for the Red Hawks will be Ben Caron. Um, you're watching Frontier Comax Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. And here comes the pitch. <laughs> oh, I think that was ball number one as the batter has been Karen. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off. These are good pitches from Will Hogan. Hogan delivers, grounder out of play. Job, my first base coach for the Red Ox. He made that play, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> One and two count. And Hogan delivers, grounder back to Will Hogan. And he'll throw it over to first four, out number one. So that will bring up Nico Fasulo. He has he his last at bat was in the first inning. He let it off with a hit, and he had two stolen bases. He stole second and third. See what he can get going here with one out. Ground over to the shortstop. He'll throw it over to first, and that'll be out number two. So one pitch to Fasulo, and that'll be out number two. And that'll bring up Jack Conlon. His last at bat it was in the first, and he flew out to right field. And here comes the pitch from Hogan. And that'll be called for a strike. Looked like it was high. And outside. Hogan delivers. I guess that'll be uh, ball number one. So that evens up the count one and one. And Hogan. Taking a long pitch, and good job by Jack Collin on calling a timeout there. Nice thing about high school baseball is there's no pitch clock. I want to pitch pretty quick, though. I'll be low and away for ball number two. Two and one count. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off and into the woods. Into the thick of it, Ben. <laughs> hey, have a good here. That evens up the count, two and two. Here comes the pitch from Hogan. And, yeah, good eye there by Conlon. 3-2, full count. Base hit or ball four is what Conlon's looking for. Here comes the pitch from Hogan. And it, it oh gets past the third baseman, and Conlon gets on with one gone or two gone, excuse me. And that will bring up Roscoe Palmer. His last at bat, he struck out swinging. So we'll see what, what he can do here. Comes the pitch, grounder, dot, the infield, dies in the infield, over to, throws it over to second base as uh, that'll be out number three. Nice fielder's choice. Two. And we will go. No score there from the Red Ox. We'll go to the top of the fourth inning. Scores two to nothing, Hampshire Raiders on top. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alver and Ben Roberts here at the Frontier Renock baseball field. Scores 2 0. Hampshire Raiders on top in the top of the fourth as that one gets delivered quick. And I believe it's a ball. So it's my guess. 1 0 count. Cussin delivers. And that'll be in there for a strike. Evens it up one and one. Cussin pitches and grounder down the first baseline. Hall delivers it, but it was a foul ball, so. And the batter is, uh, sorry, excuse me, is Jack Boyle, which he had an RBI. Um. I believe single in the left field, and he scored a run. So that'll be low and outside for ball number two. Two and two is the count. And that one's hit hard, deep into center field. And a nice catch there by number one, Nico Fasulo. Uh, that was a nice contact swing, though, by Jack Boyle. So that will bring up Vince Carr, as he f his last at bat was um, in the second inning. He flew out to the first baseman. And here comes the pitch from Cussin. In there for strike number one. And that one's fouled out of play. 0 2 count for Vince Carr. Another ball into the woods, Ben. Here comes the pitch. Oh, right back at Cussin. Oh, Palmer tried to barehand it. Couldn't quite get to it. So Vince Carr gets on first. All right, so just one gone here, man on first. And the batter is number 14, Phil Moron. That foul. Oh, that would have been a double play. Kind of lost for words there as uh, catcher dropped it. So no one count. And Blooper Palmer, a nice catch by him. So a line drive out to Roscoe Palmer, the shortstop. And that will bring up Jacob Seacard. His last at bat, he got an RBI line drive to left field. And uh, see what he can do here. Have fun with two. And taking off is uh, Vince Carr, and then he gets a steal there. Cussin looks in for the pitch and delivers. Ground over to shortstop. Palmer will throw it over to first for out number three. So no damage done there. Nice play by Palmer to Porter Hall. And we'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning where the lead is still uh, two to nothing. Hampshire Raiders on top. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Right now, uh, Soldier Tom is fixing up our high pod so you can get the best views imaginable. He'll be back soon. All right, hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Dollars. <laughs> that high pod is definitely a workout, I'll say. <laughs> uh, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. Still, shout out here for Will Hogan. Ground over to second base. Throws it over to first, and that will be out number one, out number two. In the bottom of the fourth inning. So that will bring up Wyatt Eads. His last at bat was in the second inning as he struck out swinging. And <laughs> nice breeze coming in. 0-1 count. Hogan delivers. And pop up. Nice hustle there by the first baseman. So no two count, four wide eads. So he's got he's got to have fun with two and protect. That'll be low and inside for ball number one. Good eye there by Wyatt. And that was a nice contact swing into center field as Wyatt Eads gets on first. Great job by him. As he had fun with two. And that'll bring up Colin West. His last up bat, he had a hit to the third baseman. And he, it was an error over there. And that'll be fouled off to the backstop. 0 and 1. Hogan looks to deliver inside for ball number two. Or ball number one, excuse me. 1 and 1. Eats takes a little bit of lead on, over at first. He takes off to second, and it was a hit and run. So, one and two count. Yeah, 
and Eads takes off again, and a swing and a miss. So, okay, swing that will end the fourth inning. Still a shutout going for uh, Will Hogan, and uh, we will go to the top of the fifth inning, where the leading off is Jacob Seacard. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. Score is two to nothing. That is the Raiders' lead. Uh, the Red Ox, and, uh, and that will be in there for strike one. So I was wrong. It is Liam Pond. He is the batter. Uh, top of the order. Nice contact into left field, and that one will hit the wall. Took two bounces to get there, but wow. What a hit from Liam Pond. I thought that one was out of here, Ben. <laughs> Not quite. That was a deep fly ball to left field, though. And a double for him. And that will bring up Will Hogan, pitcher. He's flied out to uh, center, the center fielder, and he's flown out to the second baseman, Grayson Luce. So, flew out to Fasulo and Luce. So, he's over two. See if he can get a hit here. As he's got Pond in scoring position. Shows bunt, pulls it back, and that'll be a strike. One and one is the count, as we believe. Cusson delivers. He'll bunt that one, so it'll go foul down the third baseline. So one and two count. That fly is still bothering Ben. <laughs> He's bugging him. Bugging. <laughs> Custom looks over. He'll deliver. Swing and a miss. Nice strike out there for Tyler Cusson. And Hogan goes down swinging. I'll bring up Drew Thompson with one out. Man on second. His last at bat, he had a hit to the center field. And in the first inning, he flew out to left. 
So it's one for two this evening. One and no count. Cussin delivers. Fouled off. That one bounces off the ground and hits him. So it counts one and one now. Cussin delivers. Whoa! Deep fly ball into left field. And Eads will make that catch. Runner Pond tags up. So, sacrifice fly as Drew Thompson moves Pond over to third base now. 90 feet away is Pond from scoring. So that will bring up Zach Fakos. He's grounded out to the pitcher and flew out to second base. So over two right now, but he's got a man in scoring position. That one will drop into right center field. Almost a catch by Fasulo. What an effort. And an RBI single by for Zach. And that will bring up Mikey Thompson. He grounded out to shortstop, and he got a hit. Past the shortstop, maybe with an error. So, Raiders, they got two or two outs here. Man on first, and again, uh, Mikey Thompson is the better. On a huge lead over there, Thompson. Uh, Excuse me. That one not too far into the woods. <laughs> Foul it out though. That one might be retrievable then. Maybe. So one and one count. Cuss and delivers. Swing and a miss. Foul tip. One and two count now. Cousin just needs one more good pitch here. Maybe the off speed. Maybe the fastball. Who knows, Ben? <laughs> here comes the pitch. The off speed it was. And James can't quite hold on to it. Foul tip, though. Count has not changed. One and two. And Cussin delivers. That one will be on top of the ball into right field. And that will be out number three. Nice catch. Uh, by the right fielder there. We will go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Leading off for the Red Hawks will be Porter Hall. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Ben Roberts here. That one's in there for a ball. Maybe. I believe. <laughs> we believe. Port Hall is better. That one's definitely in there for a ball. That was low. It is the uh, bottom of the fifth inning, so score Frontier still scoreless. As uh, the Raiders got one left this top inning. Hall over to shortstop and called safe as he beats it out. Great job by Porter Hall. <laughs> so a hit to the shortstop. As Hall get leads off the inning. That'll bring bring up Ben Caron. And pass ball, Hall takes off to second. And good job by him as he gets a steal there. I think that's one of the first pass balls we've seen that's gone by the catcher. And already showing bunt is Ben. And Will Hogan steps off. Sees the pitch. And he's going to check on Porter. He'll deliver. Low for a ball. 1-0 count. Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. First base coach giving him some words of encouragement. Telling him it's too low a swing. Comes the pitch from Hogan. Ground over to third. He'll hold the bobble it a little bit. And they'll get the out. It's a great job sticking with it there is uh, Jack Doyle, Boyle. He held up the runner, so. That'll bring up Nico Fasulo. He let off the first inning with a hit and two stolen bases. And that one liner over to shortstop. Throws it over to first for out number two. So he moved the runner. Now just 90 feet away. Is Hall, Porter Hall. And that will bring up Jack Common, third baseman for the Red Hawks. Hogan delivers. He's off speed and a little, little outside. So... Two outs, here comes the pitch. Pop up. And into the woods. <laughs> Another one bites the dust, Ben. <laughs> Another one. That one might be gettable, retrieval. Who knows? So, one and one count for uh, Jack Conlon. Hogan delivers. Grounder over to third baseman. He's got to beat it out. Throws it over to first. And he's safe. So an RBI single for Conlon. And the Hawks break the shutout. Three to one. Jack Con or er, Ben's confusing me. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and 
The batter is Roscoe Palmer. <laughs> and swing and a miss. Palmer struck out uh, swinging the first and fielder's choice to second baseman. So he's over two right now, looking to change that right now. And that will be inside for a ball. Two and two count. Nice off speed from Hogan. Just good job by Palmer not chasing that. Here comes a pitch. Fastball high and away. Three two full count. Two two balls, one strike, apparently. So two and one count. We got a little ahead of ourselves, Ben. That will be ball number three. Three and one now. <laughs> uh, we try our best here at FK, don't we, Ben? <laughs> here comes the pitch. A fly ball. Will that stay in play? And he'll make the... He dropped it. I couldn't quite tell because our, <laughs> our uh, what do you call this thing, Ben? A tent. Our tent was in the way. <laughs> so a new life for Palmer, Roscoe Palmer. 3-2, full count. <laughs> Will Hogan on the bump still. Comes a payoff pitch. Well, maybe not yet. High fly ball into center field. And he'll make the catch for out number three. So Frontier, they do get a run, though. A nice RBI from Jack Conlon. And um, down inning there. Fly out to the center fielder from Palmer. 3-1 is the score. Raiders on top by two. We'll go to the top of the sixth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and bo uh, hello and welcome back to <laughs> Frontier Team Access Dolphins. It's grounded. Sorry for the word babble there. Ground out to shortstop. That was uh, Jack Boyle. Or no, that was Vince C C 
car. No. Jack Boyle. Vince Carr is a batter. <laughs> ben had to adjust our camera as the wind was taking it, so we sprint out there. They'll get in there for a strike. <laughs> Excuse me. And that will be a pop up and foul ball out of play. 0 oh, 2 count for Vince Carr. Here in the top of the sixth inning. Still 3 to 1, the Hampshire Raiders on top of the Frontier Red Ox. Here comes the play, pitch. A little low maybe, outside. So one and two count. Tyler delivers and yes he did. And strike out, swinging. So two gone and Phil Morin will be the batter, the first baseman for the Hampshire Raiders. His last at bat, he line drived out to shortstop. And, or at a liner. This one will be popped up. Caden James, can he make the play? He does! Good job by Caden James. And that will end the top of the sixth inning. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth in inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back. As me and Ben both had to sprint out to center field to adjust that camera. You're watching Frontier Kinaxis Dolphin. Tom Albert and Ben Roberts. I'm still a little out of breath. It's been a couple years since I did, we, we both did tracking cross country, so. Oh, nice hit by Tyler Cusson to right field. Nice lead off single as he gets things going for the Red Hawks. Hit to right field for Cussin. Be one for three. And it will be a mound visit. <laughs> so they're going to take a quick break. So will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Communities Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and the dynamic duo. That is. Batter is number nine, Grayson Luce. That'll be low for ball one. Custom with the leadoff single. So the time runs at the plate. Big off attempt, Tyler Cousin gets back. All right. One to no count, here comes the pitch. To left field, that will drop in for another single. Nice job by Grayson Luce and Tyler Cousin. Both get. They both get their first hits of the night and get on base. No outs. Battle will be wide ease. So back to back hits for the Red Ox in the hands of wide ease now. And that will be a called strike looking. His la he's one for two on the night. His last step bat, he had to hit to the center field. <clears throat> and that one, bloop single into for, uh, uh, right field, excuse me. And that will load the bases with no outs now. Red Ox getting things rolling here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And that will bring up the designated hitter, Colin West. He's one for two on the night. In the second inning, he had a hit to third base. That will be a grounder to short, uh, second base. He'll flip it over to second. And, and he was off the bag, almost a double play. Great job by West. He gets an RBI single. Fielders. The Hawks getting things going here. Three to two is the score and the tying run 90 feet away. And that'll bring up Porter Hall. His last at bat was last inning as he let things off. He had a and a hit to the shortstop, and had a stolen base. Grounder gets past the first baseman, and the time run will score as Colin West takes off to third, and now the leading run just 90 feet away. As an RBI single for Porter, Porter Hall, 
as he's two for three with an RBI on the night. And that'll bring up th uh, that'll bring up Ben Caron. Hall takes out to second. They'll cut off the throw as Porter Hall will have two stolen bases on the night. That one. Hawks. Here comes the pitch. And that'll be a pop-up. Shortstop will make the play. So fly out to the shortstop for Ben Caron. That'll be out number two, and Nico Fasulo. This is a huge up bat right here. Fasulo is one for three with two stolen bases from the first inning. Still second and third. That'll be in there for strike one. Frontier could take the lead. All takes is a hit right here from Fasulo. Off seed pitch high and inside. On deck waiting is Jack Conlon. One and one. Comes the pitch. And inside for ball number two. Great eye. Frontier's bench now making some noise. Hogan delivers. Grounder to third base. Fasulo will oh, be fouled. Almost lucky that that was a foul ball. But Fasulo does have a lot of speed on him, so. Two and two count. Here comes the pitch. Staying alive. Five pitch at bat. We have bat at the night right here. here. Comes the pitch. Off speed. Nice job by Fasul as he fouls that one back. Six pitch at bat. <laughs> Still two and two. And here comes the pitch from Hogan. Fouled off again. He's on it. That one's in the woods. That one's definitely retrievable. I can see that one. I don't know how many baseballs are back there, but probably over 100. <laughs> and that one will be a blooper into right field to see if he can make the play. He cannot make the catch. One run will score, two will score. And now Fasuo caught in a pickle. And he's safe back at first. So an RBI single. Two RBI. Two run scores for Suo with a big at bat as the Hawks take the lead. Five to three, Ben. What a battle from Fasulo and Will Hogan. And they will take Will Hogan out of the game. And Red Hawks on top now, five to three. In the bottom of the sixth inning, two outs, man on first. They're gonna take a quick break. So will we, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Ben Roberts here. Scores five to three after a big up bat and battle from Fasulo. So in pitching now is number five, Jack Boyle. He was just at third base. And the batter is um, Jack Conlon. Fasulo will get his third steal of the night. He steals second. He <laughs> got from the bench. Lightning McQueen, apparently. And it's a great movie. I think that was a ball. Yeah, there we go. Um calls it. So you could say Fasulo had the bat of the night. Getting things going was cussing and loose though in that in this in this inning. We're still on it. One and one. And Boyle delivers. High for ball two. And two and one count. Boyle delivers. High for ball three. Three and one count. So it's taking a big lead. And high for ball four as Colin. I think that will be the first walk of the night. On both teams. Wow. That is surprising. The first walk of the night in the sixth inning. The bottom. Wow. The bottom of the sixth. So, this will be the ninth batter of this inning. Roscoe Palmer. Shortstop. He's over three right now, but he's looking to change that right now. Man on first and second. That'll be in there first. Strike number one. He's got to have fun with two. Comes a pitch from Boyle. And that one, another one gone into the woods. <laughs> Fouled back. All right. Here comes a pitch from Boyle. And that will be a ball inside. Frontier's bench <laughs> making noise. Let it be heard. Making dog noises now. <laughs> Here comes a fiction boiled and Fasulo takes off. And they call a foul. Fasulo had third with ease. Just unfortunate there. Eight is great. That is Roscoe Palmer's number. Here, Boyle checks on Fasulo, steps off. <laughs> Boyle will deliver, and Roscoe staying alive. <laughs> One, two, count. <laughs> and here comes the pitch from Boyle. Off speed, swing and strike three. But the Red Ox get the lead. They score four runs in the bottom of the sixth inning. So we'll go to the top of the seventh, which it is all down to... The Hampshire Raiders to make things interesting here. And uh, they're going to take a quick break. So will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Nexus Television. Dom Hour, Ben Roberts here. Which could be the final top of the seventh. They got to score two runs, make things interesting here for the Raiders. They had the lead up until the six, bottom of the six. So, top of the seventh inning. Leading off is number 22, Jacob Seacard. And a grounder to second base, and it gets through up the middle. Nice job by Seacard. So Seacard gets things going here. Top of the order, Liam Pond. His last at bat, he had a hit to left field, double, a double. The only double of the game. Pond steps out. He is one for three, but he did have that big double in the fifth inning. That'll be low for ball one. One and zero count. This is uh, they gotta get the bats rolling. I mean, Cussing pick off attempt. And now, back to the batter, 1-0. and Seacard, nice strike in there, but I was about to say Seacard taking a, not the biggest leads over at first. I mean, you do not want to get picked off here. He's got another step in him. And fouled off, 1-2 count now. See if Cussing can get that last pitch there and see what happens. High for ball two. Two and two count. Here comes the pitch. Pop uh, over to right field. He makes a catch. So that'll be out number one. Two lives left for the Hampshire Raiders here in the top of the seventh inning. That will bring up Will Hogan. He pitched an excellent night. We'll give him that. Um, and Frontier really didn't get a hold of him until that sixth inning was a big one when they opened up. But pitched very well. That'll be ball number one. We'll see if we can get things going here. He's 0 for 3. Flew out to center field. Flew out to second base and struck out. Swinging his last at bat. Good job. Good eye from him. And Cussin will deliver in there for a strike. 2 1 count. Drew Thompson is on deck. And grounder over to second base. And Luce will throw it over to uh, Porter Hall at first for out number two. So one, where the the Raiders are down to their last out here. Their last life is in the hands of Drew Thompson. He's one for three on the night. He flew out to left field in the first. Flew out to left field in. That'll be a ball there. Flew out to left field in the fifth, and he got his hit to center field in the third. So. One and out count, and that'll be a way outside. Two and one oh now. Mm. 
In order to keep the game going, he's got a big swing here, and that will drop in for a single. So that will that'll score a run. So an RBI there by Drew Thompson. This may not be over quite yet, Ben, as the tying run is at the plate. Or excuse me, the tying run is at first base. The lead run is at home. Saved it. That'll be inside for ball one. And the batter is Zach Fakos. That'll be called for a strike. His last at bat, he had an RBI to right center field. And he's one for three. Is one and one. Comes the pitch. And that will drop in for a single. Eads will field it. He'll throw it in. And nice job getting in quickly, but now the lead run at first base. Two outs. And Coach Williams will go to the mound. So they're going to take a break and talk things over. We're going to quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Adele Street um, in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom a call at 413-774-0100. Also, Gilmore and Farrell. And uh, Holiday Pizza, official pizza of FCAT Sports. Those are some great sponsors we have. And welcome back. <laughs> so here we go. The batter is Mikey Thompson. It's do or die here. Now will be in there for a strike. Tying run. 90 feet away. Comes the pitch. Fouled off. He's got two strikes on him now. 0-2. Oh, Cussin just needs a second to just his jersey. Hampshire's coach giving him a sign probably to steal. Who knows? Let's see if Zach Vakos takes off to second here. He'll take a delayed steal, and he does. So That'll be ball low and away. So now the lead run is at second base. This is a uh, big up out here. And a fly ball into right center field. And he'll make the catch. Good job by Nico Fasulo. Woo! What an effort, though. Great job by both teams. Raiders made things interesting here at the end. And, uh, yeah, what an excellent game all around. Final score, 5-4. to four. Frontier, they come out with the win. They really got the bats going down in the fourth. And uh, they got one run in the fifth. So uh, Raiders, they started things off. They got two runs to start the game in the second and top of the second. And then uh, they, uh, Will Hogan held Frontier scoreless to the fifth. And, uh, yeah, final score, five to four. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts here. It was an excellent game. And uh, we'll quickly thank our sponsors, and we'll uh, we'll see you on Thursday. Uh, we we have softball as long as it doesn't get rained out. And Friday will be tennis. It could also be rain. Um, we are sponsored by we are, we are sponsored by Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Adele Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Again. Uh, you can call, give my mom and their office a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100.
or visit alberthearing.com. As well as we are also sponsored by Gilmore and Farrell. They're located in Greenfield as well. And Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Afghan Sports. Watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll see you guys next time.